Welcome to the video on configuring calendar in Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunderbird is a free, open source, cross-platform, desktop, email client that has large supporting community behind it. This video assumes that you have installed and configured a ConnectXF server version 3.4 and above to send and receive mail for your domain. It also assumes that you have downloaded and configured Thunderbird Desktop Client version 3.1.9 and above on your desktop to send and receive mail for your account. Using Lightning Thunderbird plugin, you can sync Thunderbird Calendar with Calendar hosted on the ConnectXF server. Lightning, that is Calendar plugin, is an extension to Thunderbird that allows you to create calendars, subscribe to calendars on the web and manage your schedule within Thunderbird. Download Lightning plugin link http colon double backslash addons.mozilla.org slash en dash us slash Thunderbird slash addon slash lightning slash versions and save the file to your system. Now let's have an overview on how to install Lightning plugin. Click Mozilla Thunderbird icon on your desktop to have a look at Mozilla Thunderbird interface. The mini bar shows file, edit, view, go, message, tools, and help. Go to tools menu and click add-ons. The add-ons box opens. Click install. This opens select an extension to install dialog box. Browse the downloaded Lightning plugin file and click open. This opens software installation dialog box. A warning is displayed asking you to install add-ons only from authors whom you trust. Click install now. After installation you are asked to restart Thunderbird. Click restart Thunderbird. Now you see events and task menu on Thunderbird main menu. Let us have an overview on configuring calendar in Thunderbird. You can launch the calendar application in two ways. First, go to events and task menu on main menu and click calendar. Right click on calendar pane and select new calendar or go to file on main menu click new and select calendar option this opens create new calendar box check on the network option is selected and click next on this screen now select Carl Dave in the format field in location field specify the location of your calendar as HTTP colon double backslash Connect XF server IP, for example 192.168.0.54, colon, 8080, slash, you call Dave, slash, user, slash, your email ID, for example, john.smith, at in, slash, calendar. Click next to proceed. On this screen, customize your calendar, by specifying the name, for example, personal calendar and selecting a color. Please note that the email field has to be left blank and click next. Authentication required box opens when you first time log into the calendar. You have to enter your email ID for example john.smith at acmcorp.co.in in username field and your email account password in password field and click OK. You see a message that your calendar has been created. Click Finish. If you have populated your calendar using the inbuilt web client there you will see those calendar entries in Thunderbird. Now you can update your calendar from Thunderbird as well as Bayer. So, this is how you configure your web mail server calendar to Thunderbird. Thank you for watching this video.